and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the books I hope you're all doing very well this lovely Sunday today I've set myself a challenge it's a nice challenge it's an enjoyable challenge um today at, it's about 20 to midday now and at midday I'm going to sit down and read a book in one sitting which is something that I very rarely do my reading is very much sort of half hour on my lunch break here uh, 40 minutes while I'm in the bath here 20 minutes before I go to bed and um, so I very rarely sit and read a book for a, a whole sort of session um, and I thought I would challenge myself to do that today um, today I'm going to be reading The Black Flamingo by Dean Atta um, and yeah I'm just going to get my bits ready so I'm going to have some drinks few snacks not too many drinks because I've got a very small bladder and I'll be weeing a lot and I'd like to just sit and read for a whole session. Um, I'll be going to toilet as close to the midday mark as possible um, and then I'm going to sit here and just read this and sort of fill you in on my thoughts as it goes by um, and just, just have a lovely time with it. Now David read this um, over two sit-ins. I think in total it took him about three hours to read. Um, I'm a slightly faster reader than David so I reckon I could probably do this in just over an hour. Um, I'm sort of saying that now full of bravado. Who knows what will happen um but yeah let's uh let me sell let me get myself ready and um i'll get ready and we i'll read it in one sitting hopefully so this is the setup comfy sofa new pillows look how good these pillows are they're from tk maxx this one's got cats on this one's got safari animals on cute these two are actually the more comfier to sit with and then i've just got myself a little range of drinks and snacks this is chilled um peppermint cucumber and lemon water this is peppermint tea Boost bar and oh look, they're not even the right way round. How embarrassing! And an apple, and then um, if it goes on for longer, I've got dip and pita with a little salad for lunch. Um, so yeah, let's get myself back in the tripod and let's get myself reading. Very excited to read and chill. I want everything to be perfect. That's got to be there. Maybe I'll bring this a little bit more round. Start with a little cool drink. David, everything's perfect. <laughs> yes, it's your sure perfect. Ah, oh, that's there. I'm stealing this though. Look at the fan. I was just about to put the fan back on. I thought you said you wanted it off. Yeah, but only while I'm filming. I'm just filming now. Then I'm going to turn it off and read. You have it. That's okay. No, go on, you have it. That's okay. You have it. That's okay. Look at that. It's midday, let's go. Oh, hey. I'm 100 pages in, I really like it, it's really really good, um, I, I realised I didn't actually say what it's about, so this is a book by Dean Atto, it's called The Black Flamingo, um, and you're following um, a young chap called Michael, um, now I believe that the, the this has sort of been marketed as um, a, a young chap and his relationship with drag, and he becomes the Black Flamingo um, as his drag persona, uh, but we haven't got that far yet, he's he's just about to take his GCSEs, and he's, he, he's trying to decide, um, he thinks he's gay, but he also has feelings for his for his best friend who's a girl, um, and uh, yeah, he's into poetry, writes his own poetry, and just, yeah, the, the way it's delivered is just so beautifully sort of washes over you as you're reading it, it's very, very enjoyable, um, and there's lots of like different aspects of it, so you'll, you'll get his his poems and there'll be text messages um, and um, little post-it notes and things and yeah I'm really really enjoying it and I'm just gonna make myself a little cup of peppermint tea still haven't moved I'm doing very well Minnie's moved though oh this pours lovely this teapot little peppermint tea which would be nice it's cooled down perfectly and I'm gonna eat an apple I'm gonna continue with black flamingo Thank you. 
So 200 pages in now, he's at university, he's just about to join the drag society. What I really like about this is that you really feel like you're growing up with Michael as well. Like, it really felt like he was, yeah, like, this sounds like such a silly thing to say, but like, it really felt like he was six when you started reading about him. And now I do feel like he's, at, you, like, I don't know, it just feels like, it feels very reflective of the time that he is in his life. It's also really reminded me of when I went to university as well. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's bloody brilliant. I'm really, really into it. I'm really, really into it. Um, I'm over halfway now. Uh, and what time is it? It's 45 minutes in, so I'm doing very quite well. So yeah, like I said, I reckon I'll be done with this um, in maybe another half hour or something but let's uh, crack on david has now gone to the shop um he, he, he went to our local co-op walked there to get some pita breads for lunch but there wasn't any so now he's gone to drive to morrison's i can see him just driving off now um and uh, i can hear him also playing hamilton really loudly in his car <laughs> um and yeah so when he gets back i uh, probably hopefully just in time for this to be finished and then um i can have that so i'm gonna crack a lack on for a little bit more probably need to stop drinking a bit now because I feel like I could do with a wee but let's 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 carry on oh and also something I've just learned is that I didn't realize that drag stood for dressed resembling a girl um and that's how like it's it's a theater thing um so yeah when someone was in drag they were dressed resembling a girl did not know that until this book from Shakespeare I'm almost done. Down to the last 50 something pages. Really, really enjoying it. Really, really enjoying it. And um, yeah, I've been reading for just over an hour. So I, I, I don't even really want to keep talking to you guys. I just want to crack on. So I'm gonna. Well, I just loved this. I loved it. I loved it the power in it i loved the, the 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 journey he goes on how much he he loves himself at the end and how accepting he is of himself at the end i thought it was amazing there's a poem in here on page 217 so towards the second half called i come from and it talks about um where he comes from um he he's a um he's mixed race his mother is um cypria and his father's jamaican he doesn't have much of a relationship with his father um and it's talking about um like he, his, his, how where he feels he belongs. Um, the, I'll just read you the first verse. It says, "I come from shepherd's pie and Sunday roast, jerk chicken and stuffed vine leaves. I come from travelling through taste buds, but loving where I live. I come from a home that some would call broken." And that whole po poem's amazing. I thought this was absolutely fantastic. My phone's going off. Um, five stars. Thought it was brilliant. It was a real treat. It's and it's. 24 minutes past one, so I've sat for an hour and 25 minutes and just read. Um, a real treat to read that from start to finish. Thought it was fantastic, five stars. Bloody loved it. David's not home with my lunch yet, but yeah, really enjoyed sitting, having a lovely read. Um, let me know if you've enjoyed this video, just watching me sort of sit and read one book. And if you'd like to see more of this, this could be potentially a series um, where I um, where I just sit and read a book in a, in a sit-in. And also let me know any books below that you have sat and read in just one sit-in and you've had a lovely time doing so. Um, yeah, really, really love this book. I think it's going to be one of my favourite books of the year, you know. Well, it was absolutely fantastic. So that's it from me and I'll see you all again soon for another booktube video. Goodbye!